So today's ghost story is about Frederick D. Maxwell, the class of 1978, and he died from a brain tumor. And the last day of school, he threw up on the principal. Wait, then he died like a couple days That's later. That's so real. Is it is real. So, um, one time, I was like playing in my room, and I was on the bed, and then. And then I look to my right because I felt like I should. And then I see this like black shadow and it was so creepy. And I look over to see what it was and there was nothing there. So I believe it was demons. I'm Kevin. I'm here to uncover a mystery with... Pete, the plant supervisor at Montebello High School. So, Pete, what's the history behind this stairwell here in C Building? Well, we get a lot of uh, questions from a lot of uh, students throughout the years. They say it's a bomb shelter. They say it's a place where they keep the bad kids. Uh, they say there's ghosts down there. They just say all kinds of crazy stuff. But we'll just see. I'll show you guys. So you guys can see for yourself what's down there. And that's pretty much it. You're gonna have to duck down and not hit your head, okay? Well, no, because we're not, we're just filming. Oh my god. How am I supposed to? I have to duck. So, out here, in this entrance is this creepy metal door, but actually, this is where we house the uh, transformers that operate the school and basically C building, B building, and shops. And this is where those transformers are in. You'll see it right now. Yeah, definitely be behind me. Yeah, definitely be behind me. <laughs> Come on. And uh, as you walk in, you can see that we only have one light. Uh, to your right, we have the transformers. So if you get, um, you don't want to get too close to the gate, but you can see that there is transformers back there. No one's allowed. Only Edison. Uh, also, this area is where they film Criminal Minds. As you can see, there's like a water line right here, I'll show you. So, right here, this is where they added uh, a separate unit. So as you came this way in the episode of Criminal Minds, they added uh, one of these here. And this is where they found the body of the missing team. And they recreated the watermarks on that unit. It looked exactly like this. So it's pretty neat as you can see there's a lot of spiderwebs. Um, this is all the, the breakers that house all the electrical you know, power for the building. Um, Urban Legend says that there is actually behind this wall of breakers there's a tunnel. The tunnel according to Urban Legend it goes all through the building all the way to the cafeteria. Is it true or We don't know. How do I get back there? So honestly, I just stick with it and I say, yeah, there's a tunnel back there. So um, but pretty much, here you go. This is all it is. Uh, right behind you at the bottom of the floor is a sub pump. The sub pump is uh, in case there's a lot of rain and it floods down here, that pump will turn on and it'll suck up all the water that's in here so that we don't have any major crisis with regarding electrical problems and that's it guys uh, I don't know what do you think this is pretty sick we all know the atomic bomb is very dangerous since it may be used against us we must get ready for it you may be in your schoolyard playing when the signal comes that signal means to stop whatever you are doing and get to the nearest safe place fast you might be out playing at home when the warning comes. Then be sure to get into the house fast. If you are not close to home when you hear the warning, go to the nearest safe cover. Know where you are to go or ask an older person to help you. You know the places marked with the S sign? There are safe places to go when you hear the alarm.
other than the cafeteria tunnel theory, what other folklore or urban legends you heard? That's crazy. Uh, in this room itself, pretty much it's just been that. It hasn't been more than a bomb shelter. Uh, I guess like in when there was World War II, I don't know the exact years, but around that time, this building was built in 1951 or, or between 1949 to 1951. And as you can see, the walls are super thick. Uh, I think they're like 26 to 28 inches thick. Um, that's why they have that metal door for that reason. If there is some sort of bombing, uh, they would have been protected. Can we actually use this as a bomb shelter? Uh, I don't know. Maybe you could. Uh, you would need the plant supervisor to open up that gate. <laughs> Thank you so much for the interview, Mr. P. You're welcome. And, and for future uh, tours, uh, look me up. There's other places that I want to show you guys. Thanks so much for the interview. And Orioles, sleep well tonight. Watch out behind you.